हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल बाय मे डैट प्राची थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल ऑफ मेडिकल इंडस्ट्री आई एम सींग ए स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल बिकॉज इट्स अ बेस्ट डायग्नोस्टिक एंड ट्रीटमेंटल एरिया इन इट्स ओन वे सो गाइज टूडे वी विल टॉक ऑन एंडोस्कोपी एंड टाइप्स ऑफ इंडोस्कोप्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो दैट गेट एवरी अपडेट विच आई अपलोड एंडोस्कोपी इज अ सिंपल प्रोसीजर टू लुक इन साइड द बॉडी द टूल यूज टू एक्जमाइन द इंटेरियर ऑफ हॉलो ऑर्गन और कैविटी ऑफ बॉडी इज कॉल्ड एज एन एंडोस्कोप द इमेजिंग सिस्टम्स लाइक एक्स रे एम आर आई सी टी और पेट टेक इमेजेस ऑफ बॉडी और ऑर्गन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड बट द एंडोस्कोप्स आर डायरेक्टली इंसर्टेड इन टू द ऑर्गन और ऑरिफिस एंड देन इट टेक्स पिक्चर्स एंड लाइव वीडियोज There are two types of endoscopes rigid endoscopes and flexible endoscopes according to types of endoscopy there are different flexible and rigid endoscopes are available in market one by one we will see different types of endoscopies rigid endoscopes are generally used in minimal invasive surgical procedures like rhinoscopy for nodes cystoscopy for urinary bladder and laparoscopy for abdomen cavity these rigid scopes are made of metal tubes inside those metal tubes lenses and light channels are fitted they are available in different size varying from 1 mm to 12 mm inside the scopes they have fitted a series of high resolution optical glass rod lenses which allows surgical view inside the cavity of up to 120 degrees giving more bright and quality image view then the naked eyes images are transmitted in hd on screen in earlier time endoscopy was a tool to look inside but with the time it's not only a diagnostic tool but has become a treatmental tool also with some modifications and provisions small surgeries are performed to cure the problems they have insert a special tool along with the scope and perform a minimal surgical procedure to cure the problem okay as rigid scopes are been used in uh, used from old times now after many technical upgradations and clinical requirements flexible scopes are introduced in modif in medical field and are becoming more popular in stomach endoscopy colonoscopy uh, ent endoscopy fibroscopy bronchoscopy nephroscopy and cystohistoscopy one by one i will tell you how these scopes are performed but before that we will see how amazingly these flexible scopes are made flexible scopes are made of flexible rubber and mesh material which made them extremely flexible and they can bend in any direction and angle so it can travel in any cavity and small portion of body they captures live images of interior of organs and hollow cavities and transmits to the hd screen outside inside the tube of diameter of 10 mm flexible scopes enclosed with water channel light channel camera lens air water channel and if needed one instrument channel is also enclosed inside the scope as these all stuffs are fitted in very little space so all are very tiny to see by naked eyes but all these things works amazingly some flexible scopes contains channel for tool which is used for the biopsy so that the piece of defective tissue can collected at the time of scopy only now we will see uh, which scopies are there first is stomach endoscopy is also called as upper endoscopy in which upper digestive system that includes esophagus stomach and duodenum are examined with the use of flexible gastroscope this upper endoscope in uh, upper endoscopy helps uh, doctors to diagnose the problem related to digestion nausea vomiting abdominal pain difficulty in swallowing and sometimes abdominal bleeding also second is colonoscopy which is used to diagnose problem related to big intestine and rectum a flexible colonoscope is inserted into the rectum and it can travel to the whole large intestine it examines the changes related to irritable tissue pain polyps swollen and cancer also next is bronchoscopy bronchoscopy is used to examine the problem in airway and lungs a flexible bronchoscope is inserted through the nose or mouth to the throat and into the your lungs uh, 
Bronchoscope helps doctor to diagnose the reason behind persistent cough infections in lungs or if sometimes uh, unusual uh, things seen in chest x-ray. Lungs biopsy can also done by bronchoscopy if needed. Next is fibroscope is also inserted through the nose or mouth but it is designed especially to use the examine the respiratory tract which includes nodes, mucous membrane and throat. Fibroscopy helps doctor in diagnosis of sinusitis, stuffy nose, sleep apnea, tumors, deviated nasal septum, polyps, nasal polyps, vocal cord cyst and tumors. After that, nephroscope is used to examine kidneys and to remove kidney stones and cysts or any other blockages. Nephroscopy can use either rigid type of scope or flexible type of scope according to need. Scope is inserted into upper uni urinary tract through a very small cut into your skin. Next is cystohistroscopy is a procedure which helps doctor to examine inside the uterus to diagnose and treat causes of abnormal bleeding. Flexible and rigid hysteroscope is inserted into a vagina to examine the cervix and inside of the uterus. Operative hysteroscopies are performed to remove, remove polyps, fibroids and adhesions. So, all these types of endoscopies are performed by their specialist doctors with their special endoscopes according to applications. Endoscopic imaging, diagnosis and treatmental diagnosis are being very much popular over other imaging systems like MRI and CT as these scans provide complex and superficial images rather than endoscopy provides a live and clearest view of the organ from inside the cavity. The provision of instrumental attachment along with the scopes fascinates the treatment and minimal surgeries at the time of scopy only. This really saves the time of doctors and patients also. Many more researches are going on to upgrade the scopy systems day by day. We all are looking forward for more best enhancements. Today we will stop here only. Next time we will cover something new. Hope you all like today's video. Till next, keep learning. Do your best. Bye bye.